and top-notch artistic people are working hard to bring to the screen our biggest release of the year. Hail Caesar is a prestige picture with one of the biggest stars in the world. A truth we could see if we had, but... This was a pretty big film um, uh, for Joel and Ethan especially. There's a lot of music, there's a lot of visual effects, there's a lot of sound work, there's, there's just a lot. But for editorial, it just means there's a lot of balls in the air. Their cutting process is, is incredibly unique. Once everything's been shot and production is complete, they start cutting and they start from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie. So they start at scene one and for Hail Caesar, they cut to scene 77. Each scene is actually developed from the both of them from the beginning. It's a very smooth process we have and it's a very sane cutting room. <laughs> it's, it's lucky. We shot Hail Caesar uh, on 35 millimeter film, something that we're used to doing, but because it's becoming more phased out, it creates a little bit of a complication. Because we shot film, we, it was very important to us that we have the film key code, which is something you wouldn't need if you were shooting digitally, but it was really important that we have that as part of our metadata because we would use it for visual effects pulls, for scanning, and God forbid if we ever had to go back to the original negative. So it was great that Adobe was able to get that in the metadata for us. Joel and Ethan sit next to each other and they really collaborate, they really do. And Ethan, you know, pulls clips and, and then sends them over to Joel when he has the clips for a scene and Joel assembles them. When Ethan is finished picking all of his selects, he'll ring a little bell and we'll know that we can pick up the selects and start assembling them into the timeline. <laughs> Actually, it's nice. It's kind of the bell's sort of a reminder of like, you know, it makes us feel like we're doing like a very serious job. <laughs> Editing is a tough job and it's hard when you constantly feel like the system you're working on stops you along that path. So once you get used to ways of working, it's very difficult to change those. I actually came from Avid. Um, I worked a little bit on Final Cut, but yeah, the idea was you know, it's a smooth transition from Final Cut, and it was. The learning curve is very, very short. We were able to pick it up very quickly. I would say even from the beginning, the move from Final Cut Pro to Premiere was rather smooth. The features and the style of editing is actually very close to Final Cut Pro. Um, the fluidity, how quickly you can move clips, visually, a lot of it is very similar. We were on Final Cut Pro for the last, I think, seven films. We switched to Adobe for a lot of the feature reasons and for a lot of the actual software reasons, but in terms of the actual editorial process, it was pretty smooth overall. The most difficult part of Hail Caesar, I think, was the amount of visual effects that we had. A range of the work was image stabilization. We wanted to add additional camera movement, such as rocking, or there's a transition that needs to be done. And a big portion of this job was splits. So splits being if you liked one actor's take from one cut, but you preferred another actor's take who's in the same image, you can combine them both together. The integration between after Effects and Premiere works perfectly because by using Dynamic Link, you can send that entire sequence, including effects and masks, into After Effects and fine tune it a little bit more. Adobe worked with us to show us tools in Premiere that have now become parts of the cutting process for us. And by the end, we completed the picture and we're very happy on Premiere. Having the opportunity to actually be in between Joel and Ethan during conversations while they're brainstorming is an unbelievable experience. There's a reason why I've been kind of with them forever and, and most of their crew has, so it's kind of a no-brainer in terms of, uh, of picking up the call when they, when they call for the next ones. Wondering what's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.